Hey guys, welcome to the campers. Uh, I'm David, and today we are talking outdoor kitchens. Alright guys, so whenever we were looking for a new trailer, we um, wasn't really sold on having an outdoor kitchen. Honestly, a, lo a lot of the floor plans that we were liking in a trailer didn't have outdoor kitchens. So um, we were always kind of dismissing it as something we didn't need because we wanted the rest of the trailer to be what we wanted it to be. But now that we have uh, a Laredo 330RL um, with an outdoor kitchen, we've just been using it so much that we just don't really see us ever not having an outdoor kitchen again. And honestly, it's at the top of the priority list as far as travel trailers go. All right, so let's check out the Keystone Laredo's kitchen. As you can see, it's really sizable. Um, this refrigerator, this dorm room refrigerator is huge. We love the refrigerator out here. It's so big and roomy. Um, this is a great place if you're grilling outside your trailer to put all your meat and uh, size that you're going to cook outside on the grill so you're not running in and out of your trailer. Um, we also love the refrigerator because if we have guests out, it's a great place to direct them to if they have if they come up to us and ask us if they if we have space to store snacks or drinks or any kind of sides that they might have so we're not cluttering up the refrigerator inside the RV. Um, we really love this uh, refrigerator and uh, it's just a really great addition to the outdoor kitchen. Another feature that this uh, outdoor kitchen has is a really nice microwave. Um, the stainless steel is really a nice touch to kind of bring it into a nicer trim level. Um, I like it because whenever I'm out here barbecuing, our grill is a little bit small and if I'm cooking like a second round of food, you know, like first your appetizers like some grilled corn or shish kebabs, I can put that in the microwave and then get on with like cooking some meat and it will still be warm. If not, you can always nuke it just a little bit to warm it back up. That way everything's hot and delicious whenever it comes time to eat your food. So uh, we also have a two burner gas grill that's connected to the trailer's propane system. So you can just uh, open these up to kind of give you some wind deflection. It's really great for in the summertime whenever it's hot outside and you want to keep your trailer cool. Um, to not have to cook hot stuff in the trailer, you can just cook it right out here on your two burner gas grill and uh, keep the mess outside. And it also works for a second countertop. Today we're on a hill and uh, as you can see I'm a little bit low compared to where the um, outdoor kitchen is. You're usually up a little bit higher if you're on a level site, but this kind of helps out to kind of bring countertop a little bit uh, closer to the ground for you. You also have a, a generous amount of uh, storage space and uh, countertop space here. Um, it's really great for being able to serve or cut up stuff. Um, you have a cabinet up here, a cubby here, a drawer there. And uh, it's just really roomy and a very generous, generous amount of space for all that kind of thing. We also have a stereo player right here. Uh, your speakers are mounted in the ceiling and not on the outside of the trailer. We like that because it's less holes on the outside, less places for water to get into your trailer. Um, this also happens to be a DVD player because uh, if you're like uh, some people out there, it can be a little bit hard to get away from the game that's playing this weekend. And uh, you can just pull this TV out right here and uh, kind of pivot it to where you want it to be and uh, watch your game or set the kids out here and uh, have something to help entertain them while they're at camp so um, you know where they're at and uh, can kind of cater to the kids as well. Alright guys, so we've seen a lot of travel trailers out there with the outdoor sink instead of the two burner gas grill and we would rather have the two burner gas grill because usually those sinks are too small to be utilized for maybe anything other than just washing your hands in them. 
which uh, we can do right at the back of our trailer with the outdoor shower. Um, very convenient, works much better, I would imagine. You can rinse off dishes. Um, very good outdoor kit or uh, shower back there. Uh, you can also mount a grill on your bumper with um, the refrigerator, the microwave, two burner gas grill, uh, grill on the back, and then your outdoor shower. This is a full kitchen and quite frankly the best one in the industry. Uh, the, the Laredo just does it so well. Um, we've heard it so many times that this is the best outdoor kitchen in the industry and we can confirm that that is absolutely true. You just get a really generous amount of utility and space out of the whole back end of this trailer and the outdoor kitchen. It works really well for barbecuing and serving up some good grub at, at uh, camp. So we also have a uh, really nice uh, sturdy door that kind of works as an awning on this outdoor kitchen. Um, big door, really tall so you can fit under it. I think Nick is six. Uh, four and he fits under it just fine um, Really helps out with this summer heat we're in right now. We like to do things like hang uh, wind chimes off of them and uh, we uh, it, It's a really nice addition to the outdoor kitchen So if you are questioning having a uh, Outdoor kitchen like we were when we first went and got our travel trailer take it from us uh, you're gonna want one and you're not gonna be able to live without it once you've had it it's just uh, very convenient and very nice to have guys that's all I got for today and uh, just hit that like button hit the subscribe button and uh, thank you for watching the decampers and we'll see you on the next video